Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So I am officially, as of today, one week away from heading out to Ireland and the UK for a month, and I am so excited about that. So I thought today I would kick off some travel content by sharing with you guys six of my travel essentials. So these are things that I always find myself using and reaching for when I'm traveling. And some of them are great items that are a really good investment that will last you for a good long time and will be very useful as you're traveling. So I hope that you guys find this helpful if you are doing some traveling in the near future. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you my six travel essentials. So I'll start out with a bit of a bigger item. This is something that I often get questions about. I've had it for quite a long time now, I think going on three years, and I absolutely love it. It is my backpack, which is from Madewell. This is their transport backpack, and I love this for traveling. I actually usually keep my electronics in it when I'm traveling and to get on the plane. And it is a really great piece and it's lasted so well. It's made of leather, so it's a really long lasting, high quality piece. And I absolutely love it. And again, as I said, I've had it for years and it's been such a great one. So let me show you guys the design of it really quickly. This is in Maywell's permanent collection, so it's always available. So it is lined in fabric on the interior, which is really nice. And then if you open it up, it has just a big pocket. And there are also a few smaller pockets on the inside that subdivide it. So I find that really nice. I like to put cords in here. So that's good for organizing cords. I usually keep my laptop as well as my camera gear in this bag. And then also sometimes I'll put shoes in here as well if I don't have room for those in my carry-on bag. I try to travel carry-on. Usually I don't like checking a bag, especially now that they charge you for it. So the way that it closes, it just has a drawstring here and then this little popper goes over the top. So it is not the most secure backpack, I would say, if you're worried about that. Um, but I do like that it has a two-step opening process because you have to remove this and also uh, pull the drawstring. So I feel okay with it, but that might be something to take into consideration. And then again, it has a front pocket here that has the popper type of opening as well. And I use that usually just to keep like small things like lip products or something like that. But it's a great backpack and the leather is really a good quality. So if you're looking for something like this, I would really recommend the Madewell one. I have enjoyed it and have used it for years. So the next travel essential on my list is a reuse water bottle. I don't like to buy plastic water bottles both for the environmental reasons and also for just the excess expense. You can refill a water bottle and it's so much easier and you should always have it with you. So my favorite one comes from Beaker. I've had this for about a year now and I absolutely love it. It's a glass water bottle. It has a plastic cap that has this little hook type of detail. So if you wanted to hook it onto your backpack with a clip or something, you could. It's a little bit heavier so that might be a downfall. That is just part of having a glass water bottle versus a plastic. And then it has this kind of silicone outer coating. I have the blush pink one which I absolutely love. I think it's a very stylish water bottle if you care about that sort of thing like I do. So I really like it and I've gotten some great use out of it. And I think it's just a good thing to always have with you no matter where you're going, you're going to need some water. So this is definitely my favorite water bottle and I have loved using it. Um, next on my list is a journal. I love to journal in general, but when you're traveling, it's a really good thing to do to help you remember the trip and how you processed it and how you changed over the course of your traveling. So this one is one of my favorites that I've been using this year. This was a gift from my friend Haley at Haley Solano. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you are missing out. So I'll link to her down below. But it is a beautiful journal from Sugar Paper. It is a cloth bound one, so really good quality. She got my initials put on it, which I love. I use it mainly for a gratitude journal in my everyday life, but I'm actually gonna be converting it into a travel journal on this next trip. So I think it'll be great for that. Next on my list is audiobooks. I love audiobooks. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I'm like Audible's biggest fangirl. No, this is not sponsored by Audible, but I absolutely love it. So I always have my Audible app on my phone. But I love audiobooks particularly for long car and plane rides because if you are not wanting to stare at a screen, it's a great way to kind of keep your mind engaged but also be able to close your eyes and relax a little bit. So I love them if I'm having trouble sleeping on a plane. It's a good way for me to wind down and just get absorbed in a story. It's a great way to pass the time as well. So I always like to have an audiobook downloaded and ready to go on my Audible app. And then the last two items on my list of essentials are a couple of wardrobe items. I always like to have a really comfortable cardigan with me. This one is a Madewell one that I actually got on ThreadUp, but these are some of my favorite cardigans. I love the Madewell ones. They're really soft and cozy and long. And I like these for traveling on a plane if it's a little bit colder, you have this. But they can also double as a blanket if you want to just take it off and cover up with it because they have a lot of fabric. So I love that about these cardigans and I always like to travel with something like this. It's just really cozy and comfortable and this pink one is really fun. I love this color. I think this is the Ryder cardigan. I'll look it up and make sure I have the correct one linked down below because it is one that they always have available. And then the last thing on my list of travel essentials is just a comfy pair of sneakers. These are some Keds that I love wearing. I have two pairs of the Rifle Paper Company Keds and they are some of my all-time favorite 
comfy shoes, but I think that a really good pair of sneakers that is cute and comfortable is a great thing to have with you. I like to wear them on the plane, and I also like just wearing having these for walking around and having something comfortable for a longer distance of walking. And these are just some of my favorites. I think the floral print is so cute. So I would re definitely recommend having a good pair of sneakers if you're getting ready to do some traveling. All right, guys, so that is my list of my six travel essentials. I hope you found it interesting or helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time on my channel today. I am going to be producing a lot of travel content in the coming week. So I hope you guys look forward to that. I have capsule wardrobe and packing videos on the horizon. So um, you can look forward to that if that is something you're interested in. But thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time on my channel today. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you would like to be, I would love to have you join by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And if you would like to keep up with me on Instagram and my blog, I will have those linked as well and also in the end card. But yeah, thank you guys again for hanging out on my channel today and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye! Lost in the sight of you